all right what's up guys welcome to uh six play lab tv this is six play nine here also known as godmaster senpai also known as beta mail 404 the 404 is a code for not found and uh also known as dandy also known as troll titan all right i got a lot of names anyways uh we will anyways i just want to give a shout out here uh, very constructive uh, feedback from a viewer and uh, if you are watching any of my videos and you see something that you think i can improve on that would be pretty nice if you uh write a comment i mean uh yeah if you make a comp comment on it um anyways we're gonna make a another video here on uh grammy um, as you guys know, uh, my Grammy is pretty much the best in the entire game and my chin as well. I think I will show you guys my chin hopper carry. Uh, uh, like a minute ago, I just ended my match with a very um, hard carry and um, gameplay. And um, anyways, I'm going to show you guys this one and maybe I will show the chin after. So here we have a match against we have a match against uh, Orphea uh, BW Brightwing. You see these combos are quite like the overall team they have is really good, and we have uh, we have a pretty strong team as well. But when you come to this overall matchup, like. Uh, the only thing that it comes down to is uh, the skill and game IQ and that's something that really separates uh, the winners from the losers and we're going to see throughout this match so I'm going to increase the speed a little bit I'm on the red side that's me in there with the uh, Mafirian. So they have we have Diablo, Zulgen, Mafirian, Nazivo, and uh, Grimmy. I'm down here farming. I'm gonna get killed here by the uh, Tychus. I did not play well. Um, I overextended multiple times. And I should probably slow this down. I overextended multiple times and took way more damage. And he does percent his damage. Uh, my base damage is pretty good, but not like not until I get every my entire build set up. Like I have to play in a a bit of a safer way. And then past level six, that's when I start to be a little more. Actually, I play I play aggressive. Like I play really, really aggressive. Especially when I play Ophia, I play like very, very aggressive. Please. So um, it, this match is a silver match, um, but some of the players here are pretty good. Um, anyways. And he started doing percentage now, and uh, he's gonna grenade me, and I die. And I wasn't gonna win anyways because the bright one was hurting, was hurting to him. So anyways, that was a good play on on his part. I'm not gonna lie on that. Uh, here we have a Nazibo and the uh, Dahaka. Nas is supposed to. Well, I don't think Nas wins this because she hasn't done her quest yet. And the dog can just heal from hitting the minions, so. I don't know. Anyways, I took that L with a pry and I went to do my camps. And then I saw a tank coming in. And at that point, I think everybody was gonna come in. So I just backed out. My fear is passing around, that's very dangerous. But good job to catch up with me. And Diablo tried to rotate, but it's too late. And 
is gonna get picked up here. He got rooted. He passed through. The, I mean, uh, my friend put the root down. He passed through the root and got out. The match is going okay, and Diablo is saying, uh, "Stay with me." And Diablo gets killed. Uh, RP, I guess, the kill on his uh, Zujin there. I try to get a kill on the extended Tychus, but he, uh, the Bradwin was half into him. The Bradwin is pretty good. She saved a lot of lives. They're gonna capture their first objective, and the uh, SP diff is one level. And our main goal right now should be to get XP. But from the looks of it, my team doesn't know what to do. My Furan is supposed to be with the tank, but she's rotating with me for some reason. And Diablo is left in the middle here against his counter. So we're just gonna rotate there. And I think the Nazibo died or something and I said I told the Nazibo it's okay and then uh, the Diablo said are you drunk or something like that. Now they're doing that camp. I cannot do my camp because I have to lean and that's a problem. That's why as I'm saying like these guys like we are struggling because the Zojan cannot split from the uh, from the uh, from the tank there, we don't have a bruiser, and Nazibo is landing in top lane. So there are a lot of things that is wrong with our team comp right now. And Taika is gonna kill Diablo, obviously. And uh, I'm just gonna clear this way because I know we're not gonna win anything. As he was here, still soaking the same lane, never rotated. I mean, the Haka was in that lane anyway, so I guess it's okay. That guy is now destroying bot lane. Zojan has not rotated. Our camp is getting captured. I want to check upon these guys. Like, I can read a play really, really fast, and this is why, like, I only win when I shot call or when I, like, when I just go, like, all out hyper carry, because there are very few people in this game that know how to read a game, and this is not from just playing hots, like, I play uh, League of Legends for a bit, so... Like just knowing what people are doing when they are like not visible on the map and stuff like that. Like I'm one of the few people who can tell that because I have the experience and stuff. So this is part of the reason why it's really hard for me to communicate with the players because when I tell them something, I'm like assuming that they will know what's what's going on when I ping a place. Um, and that's the difference between me when I ping in a match versus when I actually like text. And the problem with like testing is that people can misunderstand it, get like personal and stuff, and then they uh, become toxic and whatnot. So it's really hard like being a solo player in solo queue. But most of the time for me to win my matches, I usually shot call, and that usually works out. Diablo gets killed here by the Tychus again. The tank is getting tilted. And he's trying to tilt everybody else. Whenever you feel whenever you feel bad like this, like it's better for you to keep it to yourself and try to think about how can I win with my team like this instead of like 
texting it out because you can be angry you can say it out loud but if you don't text it it won't affect other people so if you take your time and text stuff out like this then other people start to like text the ours and says we're gonna need to lane so we can get SP in all lane um yeah when I text doing gameplay it usually comes out come out as a mess um but there's a little bit of sense in there you try to get on the uh on the BW so that they can back out they did and then I back out in higher elo I will probably die doing that but I'm taking my chances and as you can see there like my my, my uh, gray me is quite aggressive And that's also one thing I want to point out is that my build, the way I build my character kind of suits the way I play. So whenever you are making your build or choosing a build on, a, I say, hot log or whatever, I don't think that's hot log. Whenever you are choosing your build, you should consider how you play, right? If you are an aggressive Grammy that like to go and just wreck stuff and like slash through stuff with your claws, then that that's how you build your character if you have passive uh like a range grammy then you pick range stuff right if you are passive grammy then you pick range um and i don't know i don't think cocktail is is that effective but like you should probably like learn how to use cocktail and stuff like that but yeah grammy they have two styles for him you play long range or you play aggressive i play grammy in mid range uh, which is aggressive and uh, it's not long range uh, so gonna do that camp I paint ours and we're gonna do this Diablos AFK farming XP in top lane which is a sign that we are in top lane they grab their boss we grab ours Meaning I've been pushed in by a little bit. Nazibo is not supposed to be here. And I'm gonna ping retreat, but Nazibo, I said Nas telling her to leave, but she's gonna stay and she's gonna wall herself and die. Get in that camp here. Fort, they have a fort, and they have a fort. They have a third fort. We have zero, zero, zero. 
I'm telling my allies to get this camp while I clear this wave. Guys coming coming in. Grey me I mean uh Zuja and I are coming from the bottom. That's me right there. I try to get the squishy first. Get the Ophia there. My ult is still waiting. I ult her. And then I back out because I'm low on XP. I mean on H point. Get another ulting on the uh on the uh Murad in there before he could leave. He was the last person so it was easy for us to take him out. They messed up. Yeah, that's, as you can see, after 6, that's when I get a bit aggressive. Because that's when I, like, get my uh, quest and stuff. And that's when the hyper carry started for this match. And my quest is at 11 right now. See, with Grimmy, like, a lot of people are afraid to play this build. And this is why this build is the best. It's because people don't, like, people aren't able to play it because they don't trust the build. Right? If you want to play Grimmy at a, at a really good level, you have to trust Grimmy. Right? And that's the same thing with play Orphia. Like, you have to be aggressive with Orphia, trusting that you can like sustain yourself. You have endless mobility. Like when I say endless, it's like endless. As fast as your as your hand can move, that's how fast your your entire uh, your gameplay should be, right? And that's why like in the past, you guys could have seen my Orphia uh, uh, matches. Like, I destroy people when I play off here with a good team. Uh, otherwise, I usually, I might, like, either int and die a lot, or I just, like, completely destroy them. Like, and that's that's how I play. Like, off here is supposed to be played aggressively. And if, he, if she's with a good team that has a, a bruiser, and I don't mean Troll. Troll is not a, bru a bruiser. Troll is a melee character. Um, if you take draw and you happen to uh, be with Orphia, you want to take the slows instead of the Earthbreaker thingy because uh, it does nothing for Orphia. So if you have, if you guys have an Orphia player like and she's playing Orphia, like you want to pick around the Orphia because Orphia does probably the most damage in the entire game apart from the main orbs, um, and she's she's the, also the most. Well, not the most mobile. I think Tracer, Tracer is a bit mobile, a bit not like when I say a bit, not like not like small bit. I mean like she's she's up there, right? Uh, I I don't know. I'm probably forgetting who is, but for now I'm gonna say Tracer is is probably the most mobile character, and a good Ophia is is uh also mobile and Grammy is uh is is uh second uh i'm thinking about variant twin blade variant is also mobile uh but it's it also depends on the distance like how long does it how how what does it take to activate that like that mobility um, Varian have to hit a target to activate and uh, he's a melee which kind of like limits him a little bit and Ophia also has to hit a, a target and her, it's a skill shot uh, which makes it a bit difficult and uh, as for Grammy he can lock on because the game is, is partially top targeted um, and then you have Tracer who can just freely move around and lock on but her uh, targeting is like very short and stuff like that so 
I would give this to like Tracer and and uh, put Grammy second and stuff, yeah. and maybe Diva and uh, Graham and uh, Vivian in the same area ish, and uh, Orphea is at the bottom there. Anyways, trust your character, guys. I'm gonna back out here. Because I don't have hit point. I'm gonna tell everybody to back out. I told them this is what we should be doing now. We should be trying to get SP. And, uh, oh, by the way, guys, like my Patreon. If you want to get world reviews and like get coaching, or if you want me to make a video for you about your matches and stuff, you can uh, go to my Patreon, subscribe to me. Uh, it's like five dollars, ten dollars, and whatnot, and I can make a uh, an analysis for your beat, uh, for your match, and stuff for like that. Spin there trying to find the best angle. I saw the tart, so I decided to find a way around it. And the tackers were right there. Oh, wait, all right. So the match started. All right, so when you're playing Grammy again, as I said, I play Grammy quite aggressively. So the first thing you want to do is assess the entire uh, lineup, the entire uh, positioning of everybody else on your team, and then you want to find your target, and then you want to find uh but disengage and then you can go to your target attack your target and then find your, your way out um after doing this i decided to channel this because i thought the match was going to go on but uh the reptilian <laughs> whatever the laser came out and he killed me so uh that's that i was going to channel it and i try to escape but Anyways, my Furion has full mana here and full hit point. And Diablo is gonna find an angle, stuns the uh, the healer there. Orphea is gonna get away. There's a combat going up here. The healer was running away, so the Mor Moradian got taken off. In the back line here, I'm pinging. I'm pinging the Zojan to leave because Orphea is chasing. Right, and I told them attack one person at a time. Like I'm literally coaching these guys while I play with them. This is why I'm posting this video as a hopper carry because, again, I'm picking a bunch of random players, playing with them, shot calling for them, and teaching them how to play. Hey, uh, Diablo guys, taking off. Telling Diablo to stop killing minions and actually leave. And uh, we found Tagas here. The healer is really low. We're gonna get the kill there. The Moradin is right there. The healer comes to healer, heal him. And he backs. I almost get killed, so I back out. Raptor is coming out. At this point, we've already won this, so I decided to channel. And oh, I 
I think he came down and I killed him. Anyways, I'm gonna chase the healer here. Oof, I got hit so hard. I flew right across the other part of the map. Now we have cursed. And we gotta find the right place to attack. We're gonna start a. Uh... Please help the tower here. I'm just removing vision from the map. Diablo is in here doing Diablo stuff. I told them to be group, otherwise, we will just lose this match. Almost take out the Tychus there. I'll come out from the uh, from the uh, Orphea there. Diablo is gonna get taken out. I don't know what happened. He just stayed there and just died. And when things are like this, you have to leave, right? Otherwise, your entire team will have to turn around because they're gonna start thinking that they can save they can save you even I fall to this, right? I'm thinking that I can save somebody here, so I just turn around. And we'll get the kills there. In this case it worked out but honestly when when this when you get ping like like this like the white flag when it say leave it's time to leave you don't stay if you stay your teammates will have to will usually turn around to try to help you and when they do that instead of just one person going down it will be like your entire team going down So if it say leaves and you can't and you can't move and you see your allies coming to you, like you should also ping leave because it's better for you to sacrifice yourself than for you to sacrifice your entire team. in a bush both of these guys are down so I'm right down here trying to find a, a target and I see one you get them get two targets here clear this wave we don't have much so I'm just moving around just attacking randomly gonna lose that match I mean I just pull off and just took it away you can see my SP we farmed a lot of SP we took our tank out of the lane 
right? Usually when your team is losing, it's probably because your tank is not getting enough uh, hit point from the levels. So he just gave up and decided to go to the lane to farm SP because he need he need to be tanky. And if you are not up in level, you are not tanky enough. So just tell your tank, I'm going to do this, leave, don't go in the lane and stuff and start soaking. Because we need we need a tank at objectives and whatnot. So if you see your tank soaking in lane, it's probably because and you and he didn't like and you guys didn't plan it. It's probably because he he said he isn't tanking enough and he he he's better off killing minions than going off and just feeding because he's not tanking enough. And as usual, I'm able to get my stacks up and stuff like that. So uh, thanks for watching and. Uh, Again, if you see like things in my video that I can improve, uh, that'll be good. If you shout it out, and bye bye.